Mr. Eugene Kontorovich, law professor at Northwestern University, an American uh, law professor. Eugene, I think you are there at the very ceremony, and for you, this is a positive day. Yeah, indeed. This rectifies a long-standing absurdity where no nation in the world recognized any part, not just the eastern part of Jerusalem, as Israel's capital. And the second-class status for Israel, where its capital city is up for debate, is now ending. And that's very important. It's also important that, as you said, the United States is recognizing Israeli claims to the entire Jerusalem, a unified Jerusalem, and the international consensus is now out the window. So you believe this sets a precedent and many others will follow? So already we see uh, two countries are moving their embassies in coming weeks. And with the U.S. leadership, I think many more are going to follow because the notion that Jerusalem is not part of Israel, is not the capital of Israel, was always a farce. It was always a joke that everyone knew wasn't real. And when President Trump pointed this out, it's like the emperor has no clothes. Everyone recognizes it. And this kind of leadership is going to fracture what was an ossified and fragile consensus. Was the notion that Jerusalem was a shared we'll be speaking space? speaking of a different consensus. Was, what was, was the notion that Jerusalem was a shared space, a shared symbolic space, at least, also a farce in your eyes? Jerusalem is a shared space. Jerusalem is perhaps the only city, the only major city in a Middle Eastern country where people of all religions can come and pray, can worship safely. This was not the case under Jordanian rule, under the previous Arab rule. Jerusalem is completely shared by its uh, citizens and inhabitants. Christians, Muslims all come and pray here. And that has only been possible under Israeli sovereignty. The Jewish holy sites currently under Palestinian control, Jews cannot visit there easily or at all. What do you make of the fact that, so far, 28 Palestinians have been killed, hundreds have been wounded, there are tens of thousands protesting, tensions have risen because of this diplomatic move? Uh, the riots in Gaza have absolutely nothing to do with the embassy move. On the anniversary of Israel's independence, there are always Palestinian uh, efforts to create unrest and riot. The disturbances in Gaza have been going on for six weeks. It has nothing to do with Jerusalem. The stated agenda is to break through the fence and reconquer Israel. So the fact that they're trying to now piggyback their uh, protests on the embassy is really not a story. This has nothing to do with the embassy move. This is a regularly scheduled riot. Eugene Kontorovich, thank you very much. And we will be covering the uh, ceremony to open the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem uh, when it takes place. Now, here's an unusual line. Donald Trump is concerned about...